Thanks for joining us this evening, and we're uh, reading in the Gospel of John, or Yahoo Khan in chapter 14, and um, the uh, I, I left off in our last session again talking about the fact is that the Mashiach, or the Messiah, said that he was going away, he was talking, of course, to his disciples, and of course, this is, this is addressed to you and I as well, this applies to us, he said, he said that he was going to prepare a place for us, and that he would come back. A promise that the Messiah has made to you and I is that he would come back for us to receive us unto himself. <laughs> well, what comfort that brings to me, knowing that uh, he's coming back. He has not left us here, uh, you know, uh, abandoned us. He's coming back for us. And uh, he said that he was going to prepare a place for us. And I can't, I can't even imagine, you know, how wonderful that place is going to be. You know, the scripture says that eye has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that Yahuwah has prepared for them that love him. <laughs> wow, isn't that exciting to know? You know, uh, Paul even said, the Apostle Paul said that, uh, that I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You know, you know, Yahuwah takes it, uh, takes it very seriously of the trials and tribulations that we may be going through in this earth. And they're not coming from him. They don't come from him to try to test us or to teach us anything. The trials and tribulations that we go through on this earth, you know, uh, come from the enemy to, to kill, to steal, and to destroy from our lives. In the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10, the Messiah said, The thief comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That particular verse in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10, has always been the what I refer to as the dividing line of the Bible. It makes it crystal clear to me what things come from the enemy and what things come from my Heavenly Father. The scripture says in the book of James chapter 1 that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In other words, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. I recognize the blessings that come into my life, that they're from my Father. I recognize that uh, evil things that try to come into my life, that try to rob and steal and kill, steal to destroy from me, they're not from my father, Yahuwah. They're not from a loving father who loves his child. I would not wish that or put that upon my own children. I have only good desires for my own children. You know, the scripture says uh, also in the, in the gospel of uh, Matthew, Yahushua said that uh, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give good things to them that ask him? I always think about my own children and how much I love them and how much that I want to do. It gives me great joy to be able to give them things and to see how that makes them happy or how that, you know, that I can bring joy into their lives. Well, I'm no different from my Heavenly Father. I don't have more love in my heart than the, our Heavenly Father. You know, if, and, and if I ever have a trouble thinking about does Yahuwah really love me I think about how much love that I have for my own children, and I and I relate to that that in the love that the Father must have for me, and then I get really, you know, that really just um, it just causes my faith to grow, and my love for Him to grow when I realize that He loves me more than I love my own children. <laughs> so I have no trouble or, or problem believing that things that I have need of how how he wants to and desires to bless me with those things that I have need of. So that builds my capacity for faith when I recognize how much he, he loves me. If I love my children the way I, I love them and want to provide and give them good, and good things, as the Messiah said, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give good things to them that ask him? He said that so we would know and understand that, you know, that when you can compare the love of the Father is so much greater. 
he has the capacity to love much greater than we do. And so um, when I understand that, then it really uh, stimulates my faith to believe that Yahuwah will provide for me in the same manner or the same way. So I want to encourage you today to, to encourage you in your faith. If you're having uh, problems or difficulties in your life, believing that Yahuwah really loves you and cares about you, then you meditate upon that aspect that uh, He does love you and that He will provide and He will hear when you call upon Him. But, but you know, He responds to faith. You have to have, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to Yahuwah must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So recognize that your faith pleases Yahuwah. When you recognize that uh, he does love you and care about you, we love him because he first loved us. And what we really need is a revelation and an understanding of how much Yahuwah really loves us. And then that will grow your capacity for faith to trust him in all things. Thank you for joining me tonight. Shalom.